Okay, hello, Dr. Arjun. How are you? Namaste, Gregory. How are you doing? Very good. good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, today, uh, we're recording short video uh, to use the um, situation that you have a time uh, uh, for me to uh, say hello to our uh, friends from Facebook and from other channels also. Uh, maybe they can see you and know you a bit a bit uh, better. Would you would you uh, would you can tell them? Uh, namaste to yeah, namaste to all the friends of Gregory and everybody who watches Gregory on Facebook and you know welcome. I mean, mm -hmm. I just wanted to say you know greetings to everybody. Yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> the 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 last uh, text I I add to to the Facebooks. Um, there was uh, a lot of people asking uh, when you come to Poland, and maybe they that would be good if they would hear uh, that uh, why why you uh, why you was a bit interested about this kind of uh, middle uh, Europe, uh, Central Europe, and Slavic uh, countries. What what did you uh, discover? What is your feeling about this uh, these people who live here? Uh, Gregory, um, I've been teaching um, the Vedic astrology as per the Vedas. Now, many of them, when you talk about Vedic astrology, we talk about uh, Jyotisha or we say uh, Jyotish. astrology, right? We say in, in, yeah, Jyotish. Jyotisha means Jyoti means light, Isha means God. Mm. So, the light of God, Jyotisha is the light of God. And uh, last, a very deep sub subject, which is actually called Vedic, mm -hmm. because there are only what is what comes in the Vedas is called Vedic. Vedic in Polish, what comes in Vedas, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. it's whatever is there in the Vedas is called Vedic. There is no mention about the zodiac signs in the Vedas. The Vedas is all about nakshatras. There is mentions about nakshatras in the Vedas. And the Vedas are as old as maybe more than 10,000 years. If you date them, more than 10,000 years. Because yes. Rig Veda was written when they say the vernal equinox happened. Vernal equinox is when the sun, you know, the equinox today is happening in Uttara Bhadrapada, nakshatra. That time it used to happen in Maga. If you date it, it was more than 50, you know, maybe 12,000, 13,000. In lion's eye, yeah? Or even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, 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 in lion's eye, yeah. Leo. Mm -hmm. Maga Lakshatra. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of people in the last two years being my students of Nakshatras. Nakshatras are nothing but star constellations. And I have people from Poland, Latvia, Slovakia, Lithuania, Ukraine, uh, Bulgaria. Romania, Belarus, all have come to start to come learn about you know the system that I teach them, which is very fascinating. And why I am more fascinated about um, you know Poland specifically is I find that many of our origins because I am a Brahmin huh? and I was uh, you know a Brahmin was you know where your father actually instates you into Brahmin in a ceremony which is called as a thread ceremony you know you wear a, you wear a certain thread you know I can show you my thread this is my sacred thread uh -huh. and this through this you get initiated this and is you've been given the sacred yeah the sacred mantra which is called the Gayatri the Gayatri uh -huh. mantra so you get instated into that but what I see is many of these uh, people from you know, the Central Europe, you know, Scandinavia, uh, Southern Serbia, all of them, I find that we have a very common uh, genes. We are talking about, you know, A1, A, uh, A, uh, R1, A1. You yes. know, this is the, the, the haplogroup of the, the DNA construct. You see that is very common with what we see in the Brahmins here, and you see the same construct you see with people from the Central Europe, which is you know, Poland, Latvia, Slovakia, Lithuania, Ukraine, Belarus, yes, all right. of them have the same construct. The 
because then we realize that we have all migrated from this uh, this region, you know, 6,000, 7,000 years ago. So we have a very strong bond, you know, with countries like uh, Poland, you know, and that's why I see a lot of consciousness which is growing up in Central Europe. People wanting to learn Vedic systems. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Do you, do you think it could be something in our genes? What uh, tell us to to learn the Vedas, or if we have the same ancient uh, uh, the genetics R one A one, do you think it could be some uh, genetic memory? Just see, I'll tell you something, uh, Gregory. Uh, everybody has uh, water within us. You know, seventy percent of our body is made of water. Yes. And if you see really, Gregory, water is a carrier of memory. Yes. And it doesn't matter after thousands of years also, you know, the genes, the genes or the DNA structure that you see mm -hmm. is very similar with yes. some of the continents and some people. You know, even if you go to America, you would find a lot of Americans would have uh, common genes with, uh, you know, obviously because America is a very new continent. America is a new continent. But yes. if, you, if you talk about Central Europe, and you talk about India, we have a very strong bond because we are all like one civilization at one point in time. And yes. you can see that people are hungry now. Central Europe, it, the consciousness is growing up in Central Europe. Consciousness is growing very fast, yes. Growing very fast mm -hmm. because there is a very strong cultural heritage that your country has and which resonates with the, my country in India. Yes. Because we, you can see that the chakras that we have in our body and they get elevated and you can see this is what i feel the seventh chakra which is the the babu or the babu is strongly connected with the country which is your you know uh Krakow. Krakow is a very energetic center yes for meditation for healing people who can uh, you know it's your seventh chakra which is awakening and many indians have recognized this the spiritual mm -hmm. have come to Krakow wanting to meditate, wanting to connect with their roots because that is our root. Our root is there in Central Asia. The Balkan, you know, uh, the Aryans, what do you call it? Aryan is a, which is a British terminology. I would say we are Eurasians, Europe and Asia. We are Eurasians. Uh, Eurasians, yes. Idea. Eurasians. We are a race which is very strong and we find. A lot of similarities. I talk about, you know, with my Lithuanian uh, students, uh, you know, they mentioned that uh, so many structures that they build, and even like the first nakshatra we say is Ashwini nakshatra yeah. of horses. And they say in Lithuania, many of the houses have two horses crossed, and uh -huh. it's the Ashwini, Ashwini Kumars on the first nakshatra. First nakshatra. Yeah. And you see, and they're called Ashwinis. Mm -hmm. They're called Ashwa, you know, in Lithuania. Mm -hmm. Very strong connection with Vedic system. Yes, yes. Very Lithuanian strong. language. It used to be uh, for 500 years we had a union with Lithuania, Poland, Lit Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine. It was one country, one almost language. And genetic is almost the same. It's a bit uh, different. But the Lithuania, actually, it's, they have a more similarity of Sanskrit than, than Poland has, but this is only a few percent. But if you count from one to ten in Sanskrit, for example, Ekka, Dvie, Trini, Chetvari, Pancha, it's five, it's, it's number Pięć in Polish language, it's Pięć, Pancha. This is there's only two languages which is that have the same root. Uh, uh, Sapta, Achta, Neva, Diesia, which is very Slavic and, and, and Sanskrit. A connection uh, to, to Slavic language is, is no doubt that it has to be some ancient history behind this. No, I totally agree with you, Gregory. I think this is something that we need to rediscover. We need to, as two countries or with these countries, we, I, I want to come down, I want to research, I want to study, I want to interact with more people from your country so that I can see the, the bond. We can revive this old history the culture yeah what was you destroyed very you know what was destroyed yeah. because things like you know today we talk about third eye awakening 
third eye of awakening is your third eye is here, right? Yes. Yes. But this is what is this? This is as per our ancient system, it is nothing but it is connected to two fishes. What you see in Pisces is called two fish. You, you know you see you see the Pisces symbol? Yes, yeah. Two it's fishes. Like two fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is it? You have the pituitary gland and you have the pineal gland. These are two glands which control most of the glands in your body. Do and you think it's, a, it's nothing connecting two brains? Two two yes. half of brains? Two two half of the brains. Mm -hmm. And what happens is many people today have tried to close that by you know crossing it. When crossing you cross, yeah. crossing, you're blocking the energy. You're blocking your intuition, blocking the energies from coming out. The true knowledge is residing here. It's blocked. Yeah. In the people this is called the seat. Yeah. Especially this children. Is called the seat of the guru. Especially children, children, they have a different, they have an open uh, a, a head, uh, the bones is Very not... Open. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gregory, you know, I find that you know, the very intuitively very many adults. If you block the third eye, then you will never be able to communicate. There are a lot of people you asking to how, open. To open it, how to open it, uh, the third eye now, because most of the 90% Polish people they have this cross of the on the third eye. Yeah. This is what I want to come down and be able to uh, you know it's not about uh, it's not about to do with any religion. It's not about yes, any religion. Yes, of course. I want to say you know it's the Vedic system of awakening your own intuition, your because own awakening, yes. your own path. You would be able to realize your potential because it's this is really correct. Connected to the Earth chakra. chakra. Yeah. Earth chakra. Yeah. Yes. Yes, the seventh chakra. Seven. And Krakow is the seventh chakra, is where it is very, very active. In fact. So maybe so that's why it is a, mm -hmm. it's an energy vortex. You know what is an energy vortex? Yes, energy vortex. Vortex means a place, where, yeah, energy vortex, where the energies are so very strong gravitationally. See, in India, there is a, have you, a, there is a system called as, you know, a, you know, a shivling. A shivling is a, a Shiva who is consecrated. And they say, once the consecration of the shivling is happened in any part of the world, mm -hmm. a ray of light which will go from the center of the earth to the heavens. Okay? Yes. Even if you destroy the shivling, the, the ray wouldn't be destroyed. It's, it's created an vortex which will connect from the bottom of the earth straight up to the heavens. It's a it's a channel. Mm, so what, that's why? That's called a vortex. That's a vortex. Yes, yes. So why do you think? Uh, because ninety of a ninety percent Polish people have this cross on the fat eye, and the consciousness is so high in the in the in this kind of part of Europe. Do you think it's also connected with genetics memory, and and something uh, in this body is? spirituality is so high then even this cross is not totally blocked as, as consciousness is so high in Latvia, Lithuania, Latvia, Poland, Czech Republic, Ukraine, Belarus. So it has to be something. Why the consciousness has, is so high? Yeah, Gregory, I have to say when I speak about Vedic, I have seen people from uh, your country, they have tears in their eyes because they can see what is happening, what is, they can connect to their ancestors. Mm -hmm. is to the great-grandfathers, the great-grandmothers. 
Yes. They're yes. connecting, and they say to Tata. To Tata, yeah. Yes. Tata is a exactly. grandfather in your language. Grandfather. Grandfather. Yes, in my language, Tata. Tata means grandfather in yes. my language. Yeah. But how can it be the same when I talk to uh, in Poland? Tata means even great grandfather there. It's, it's it's father. It's father actually. But it's Tata, for, yes. for us, Tata means for his great uh, grandfather. For yes, us. in India. But Tata also, it's India. Uh, the cars also, it's the name of uh, cars. Yes, cars. yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. But it's only two languages. You see, it's five five thousand kilometers different between our country, and the similarity of languages is is uh, unbelievable. Mm. Gregory, I want to uh, connect with more uh, people from this region. I want to rediscover this connection that we had with the lost land of yes. uh, Eurasia. Yeah. Uh, many of our DNAs, many of our constructs, many of our interests are very similar. I want to come and rediscover this in your country. You are very I'm invited. Fine. You are very invited. Everybody is waiting from my friends for your visit into Poland. I hope we organize everything. And we exchange information and maybe something more. You you will visit Wawel in Krakow definitely because your uh, people from your government in 1975 uh, they visited the uh, uh, Polish government. It was communism at that time, but uh, you told me that uh, they went to Krakow to meditate, yeah, to the seventh chakras. They... Yes, that's what I said. Mm. It's a very active. It's a very 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 active region. So they knew, they and knew. Come to, yes, they knew. Yeah. You know, there are many, many centers like this. So people, the world. people from 5,000 kilometers, they knew where they're going. And the people who live uh, 500 meters uh, from this place, they don't know where is the seventh chakras. <laughs> exactly. So Gregory, I think this awakening has to happen. And I'm sure that, you know, I would love to come down and I should have yeah. to come down and connect with people, your friends, you know, and uh, you know, acquaintances and people around you, because that was what I wanted to do, is to come and you know share and show. It's not that I'm, I want to talk only about Vedic. I want to talk about the unification because yes. we, are, we were one common race. Yes. Lost for six thousand years. That's, that's right, Kali Yuga. Six thousand years. Let us find the bond. Kali Yuga time. Six thousand years. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope I hope it could be something uh, unusual when you come to Poland. Uh, not I don't remember that somebody from Brahmis come to Poland to exchange information about in our ancient past, uh, Ario Slavic history, which is uh, connected. I I, I believe uh, that we discover something uh, for future. Yes, definitely. For our generation. Yes. Thank you very much, Dr. Payon, Dr. Arjun uh, Pai, and then I hope uh, let's uh, let's talk the next uh, next video and we exchange more information. Sure. It, it would be great then. Thank you, yeah. Namaste. Isn't it?